Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already. If this is your second or more time on my channel, feel free to go down below, like, and subscribe. I really want you guys along for this journey. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to rock with me. I know that there's a lot of content creators out there. I appreciate you guys for taking the time, showing me some love. I definitely want you guys along for the ride. So go down below, hit that notification bell as well. Let me know when uh, you've done that. Subscribe to my channel so that you will be uh, kept up to date as to when I drop my videos to YouTube. Guys, it has finally arrived. I have finally, finally gotten my hands on this fragrance. Um, as everyone knows, or as everyone should know, uh, the Zed creators in conjunction with uh, George Zaharoff have created three fragrances. Uh, they came from Ross, Andrea, and Justin Copeland. And I have finally, finally received my package. It seemed like forever, um, but today I'm going to be reviewing for you Brass and Soul by Zaharoff Z Creators at Justin Copeland Stay Fresh Productions. Whoo, boy, this is, this is going to be good. First of all, let me just show you the presentation. We all know the George Zaharoff bottles. They're pretty standard. They're very, very sleek, very sexy, very modern got the logo on the front there which is beautiful uh, Justin's logo on the bottom there got your pertinent information on the bottom of the bottle but this box I'm telling you is amazing look at that with the uh, bubbly leather right there oh my goodness and the notes all around the uh, the box there in the concert style just beautiful attention to detail. As we all know, Justin is a musician, an accomplished musician at that. Um, if you've ever seen his channel or his uh, Instagram, he uh, plays his trumpet like no one's business. This man gets down. And I absolutely love, love, love that about him. I love his music. He's just an all-around pleasure to watch. Had a, a chance to meet him at the first ever Scent Explore in 2019 we took a picture together just the nicest person in the world so i am so honored to be reviewing this fragrance of his today this was not a gift i purchased this fragrance from the george zaharoff website um, so my full attention my full honesty will definitely be displayed here uh, this came out in 2021 the nose is vincent kuczynski and if i murdered that name i apologize in advance trust me uh, the notes from the top, we have water notes, juniper, and mandarin orange. In the mid, we have bourbon geranium, a jasmine, lavender, cypress, ginger, and lily of the valley. And in the base, we have bushman candle. I have no idea what bushman candle is. If anyone can shed some light on that for me, please do so in the comments. But that's an interesting note. So bushman candle, patchouli, amber, cedar, vanilla, suede, and moss. This is a 60 ml bottle. It will run you $119 USD. With tax, I think it rounds up to about $127 or so. It's an excellent price point. Excellent price point for these bottles. Um, guys, let me just... I, I wore this like three days last week. But let me give you a fresh spray on the hand here. Atomizer's pretty doggone good. And what you're going to get is a very soapy, clean fragrance at the top. The mandarin leaps out at me at first, um, followed by the watery notes. You can definitely tell that there are watery notes here. Um, it smells aquatic in nature, but it also has the heft and the, um, the balance of the mandarin origin, the juniper berry, kind of like a, a, a gin type of, uh, of a, libation if a libation is made with gin that's what i get here in the top it's clean it's fresh it's invigorating it's inviting it's very sort of fizzy aquatic if that makes any sense um it's bright and aromatic that's what i needed to say it's aromatic in composition um the imagery fits the fragrance now this this is smooth it's sultry it's inviting it's sophisticated but it's also simple in nature so imagine your favorite song 
you know, kind of complex in nature and parts, but always coming back to that simple, um, memorable hook that gets stuck and ingrained in your head. That's what this fragrance is. It's sort of complex, but always comes back to an easygoing nature for me. Um, as Longfellow said, music is the universal language of mankind. And I absolutely agree with that, with this fragrance. I absolutely see the music tie in and I see the fragrance tie in. It's beautiful imagery that comes to mind. Um, this is a fragrance that's going to be easy to like. Now, is it groundbreaking? Does it break barriers? No, it doesn't do that. But it's going to be easy to like. It's going to be crowd pleasing. You're going to get compliments with this fragrance. As a matter of fact, my wife just walked in a few minutes ago, smelled the room and smiled and just walked out. So I know this fragrance is gonna garner compliments um, when I wear it outside of the house. Uh, so that's always a wonderful thing as well. So this fragrance is gonna be easy to like. No one's really gonna be offended by this. Like I said, it's not gonna break any barriers, but it's gonna be very hard to dislike this fragrance. So the imagery that I also get with this fragrance is, you know, I was in band. I was in band in high school, junior high and high school. And I get the visualization of walking into my band room on a hot summer day with the AC blowing and the smell of brass instruments being taken out of their cases. Now I play trombone, not very well, but I played it for about four years. Um, and I absolutely get the imagery, imagery of taking these brass instruments out of their cases with the AC blowing. And if you've ever you know, played a brass instrument, you know there's a certain type of smell that the brass gives off, especially when it comes out of the case. That's exactly the image that I get going through my head right now. And it's amazing because I love those days. I wasn't very good, but I still love playing the instrument. Um, I can tell each of the notes in the, in the top, the mid and the bass apart. Um, yes, like I said, it's, it's very clean, like playing a piece of music without mistakes. The lavender in the mid has a very calming effect. Now this is a very calming fragrance in the mid. It's like if you were right, right about to go on stage um, and you were kind of nervous and jittery, you would wear this and it would actually calm you down. Take a few deep breaths, sniff it in, it would calm you down. You would go out on stage and you would play your piece probably to perfection. Um, there's only a hint of ginger in the mid for me, which lends the just the right amount of spiciness for this. Uh, fragrance. You don't want it too spicy because that would take away from the clean and soapy facets of the fragrance. So there's a just a, the right amount of ginger in the mid. The dry down though is where this gets a little bit more complex with the vanilla and the suede, which happens to be very sexy. Um, if the opening and the mid were high school band, the dry down and the bass is definitely your college recital, your doctorate recital, your going out to, you know, a gig at, uh, after college graduation and just, you know, being in a, in a dimly lit, um, bar or a music hall, just playing your heart out. That's exactly what the dry down is for me. It's going to be crowd pleasing. It's absolutely going to be crowd pleasing. This is an outstanding, um, fragrance from Justin and Zaharoff and you know I just can't say enough about it the performance though for me is where this kind of falls short I like it so much that I want it to last but it only lasts about six hours on my skin so I do have to reapply if I have to knock it for anything it's going to be a little bit on the performance side of the house because it only lasts about six hours on my skin however I like it so much I don't mind reapplying. So that that's just kind of a moot point for me, but you guys need to know for information purposes that the performance does lack a little bit on my skin at about six hours. It might do well on your skin. Everyone's skin is different, but on my skin, six hours tops and I need to reapply. However, all in all, I'm giving it an eight and a half out of 10. I think Brass and Soul is a very solid release. 
I do not like that it's in limited productions. I hope, I hope, I hope that it comes back because I could see myself running out of this bottle um, by next year, probably. So thank you guys for your attention. Thank you, Justin, for your time and attention to detail with your fragrance. I absolutely love it. Um, I hope that we get to run, run across each other's paths again one day. Um, but yeah, that's my been my review on Brass and Soul. I'll leave a link down below. Get it before it's gone because they're only in a limited supply right now. If you can't get it, it is gone. You won't be able to get it again, so I'm told. So get down to the link. Get yourselves a bottle. That's my time. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.